Ever wonder how hardwood floors, doors, and moldings are made? Today we visit Baird Brothers in Canfield to talk about 50 years of success and show you how all of this is turned into product that you see in your home every day. The showroom at Baird Brothers in Canfield is just the tip of the iceberg. Here you see the finished hardwood products that can add the fine touches to your home or spotlight your favorite sports team. But Baird Brothers actually spans 14 acres in Canfield, nearly two dozen buildings where the wood is stacked, cut, and assembled. The product warehouse itself as long as two football fields. It's been a gradual steady growth. Paul Baird, his two brothers and sisters, started the business in 1960. We were currently working for local farmers and uh, we decided to operate our father's small sawmill they had in his backyard. Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods now employs 110 people and still remains on the same property where Paul Baird grew up. Dimensional lumber, uh, cedar siding. Sales director Stephen Stack says while their products have expanded over the years, it's the hardwood oak, maple, cherry, and walnut that remain most popular. We will make uh, custom moldings in some of the exotics like the mahoganies, the Brazilian cherries, things like that, but our, our core business is still our hardwood molding line. That's what Baird's uh, developed this business from and, and that's still our strong suit today. Well, the thing that's changed for us mostly is that we do pre-finishing here, and now they can pick a product out and take it home, and, and uh, the carpenter installs it, and that's it. The old way you had to sand and finish and varnish and stain, but today we can do that here. With their moldings, raised six panel doors, and flooring comprising about 60% of the business. And how do you ensure th this great craftsmanship that you have? Working with everybody to make sure that you have a quality product, and when you put something with your name on it, when Baird Brothers puts their name on it, I want it to be quality. And you have to be there to see if that happens. And Baird Brothers is also a green company, producing its own energy from sawdust that's burned into a furnace and helps with the heat for the dry kiln facility and other buildings. It, it helps reduce our, our production costs. It, uh, it makes us better stewards of the forest. We're, we're, using, we're using our raw materials to, you know, to the utmost. And it helps keep us competitive in, uh, in, in a market that is very tough right now. Baird ships its products to all 50 states, their website opening new doors and helping the business expand. While locally, they've seen a shift in types of jobs and customers with more remodeling projects and more do-it-yourselfers. Home building as we knew it 10 years ago in this valley, even back five, it's not going to be, it's not here now and I don't see it coming back for quite a while. Paul Baird's brothers have both passed but his nieces and nephews and own two sons are now an integral part of the business. I'd like to see them be able to maintain the business and see it grow, obviously. So what makes you unique and keeps you successful? I think it's our, uh, our family style way of doing business. We give a good product and we back it up. I want a product to go out of here that we're not only proud of, but I wouldn't be ashamed to put in my house. To check out all of Baird Brothers' products or to order something from the Collegiate Collection, like this clock featuring Pete the Penguin, be sure to visit BairdBrothers.com. With the Regional Chamber Report, I'm Kim Gonda.